Now look at your neighbor and say, no matter the darkness, <laughs> say that to me, no matter the darkness <laughs> that covers your life, <laughs> God is still moving in your life. <laughs> God has not forsaken you. <laughs> God has not abandoned you. <laughs> and if you believe that is for you, shout the loud amen. amen. That's why I am so confident that somebody's life is going to change today. Amen. Amen. I'm so confident that there's going to be a transformation, there's going to be a change, there's going to be a turnaround. Things are going to move around for you. You know, there is a song we used to sing in vernacular in Nigeria, which says, I can see everything turning around uh, for your good. I, I don't know if anybody knows that song. But I believe God that this January you are going to sing a new song. Amen. Because I can see everything turning around for you. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I believe in the power of prophecy. Amen. I believe in the word of God. The Bible says in John, in John chapter 1, it said, And the word was made flesh. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Now, there is a level to which you believe the word of God to, the word of God becomes flesh for you. Now, what does it mean that the word was made flesh? The word of God that comes out of your mouth, Jesus described it this way. He said, the words I speak to you, they are spirit and they do what? They are life. Now, what was he trying to say? The word that I speak to you contains life. So I can speak things. He collect those things that be not as what? Though they were. Oh, somebody's not here. Somebody's not here. If you don't cooperate with me this morning, I'll just round up the service. Amen. Amen. Are we alive here? Yes. Do we know Bible here? Yes. Now when I'm preaching and I, I want you to you know complete the scripture with me, complete it. Okay. Don't look at me like a dramatist. I'm not here acting drama. In Pentecostal churches, you know, somebody, a white man went to a Pentecostal church. He was born Catholic. And uh, he went to a Pentecostal church and he said, wow. He said, there is a lot of difference. Somebody, he said, he's not a preacher. So he, people were asking him, he said, what's the difference between a Pentecostal church and a Catholic uh, and Orthodox church? Why do we say we are Pentecostals? Can anybody tell me why? Pragmatism. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit. What does it mean? Are you telling me Catholics don't have the Holy Spirit? How do you know you have the Holy Spirit and they don't? Pragmatism. What? Pragmatism. Pragmatism. What does the Holy Spirit make you do? What is one of your evidence of having the Holy Spirit? Amen. Somebody say a big amen. amen. And you see, some of our Orthodox brethren don't understand that. When I walk up to them and say, that devil is in trouble. They look at me and they're, oh, are you okay? <laughs> Somebody say, here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so there's a, a whole lot of difference. If you want to go to a Catholic church, go to a Catholic church, and at the end of the service, they just do that in the name of God. <laughs> go home. You, if you're okay with that, that's for you. Or well, I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise I believe, God. you know, I, I believe in that old time religion. Amen. There was a song we used to sing in Jamaica those days. Very powerful. It says, the power, the power, the Pentecostal power is just the same today. No matter what they say, the power, the power, the Pentecostal power, it is just the same today. Amen. Do you believe that? Yes. What makes us Pentecostals? We believe that we can heal the sick. Amen, amen. Uh, am I talking to somebody? Yes, yes. We Christ believe that God. what the apostles did in their time, we can still do. If, if Peter's shadow healed the sick, I believe that if I walk past you, my shadow can still heal your sick. Amen. 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 We believe the dead still rises. Amen. amen. Because scripture says so. Amen. We believe the Bible for what it says. So don't come looking at me like I'm a reverend father. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yes. What makes us Pentecostals? We believe. We believe the word. Every single thing written in the word. This man said one of the major things, apart from all the scriptural issues, apart from the fact that we believe that you know the, the church should be alive. He said one of the things that shook him. He said when he go when he went to a Pentecost, when he went to the when he was in the Catholic Church. He said, I think the man has been here to preach, a white guy. And he said, 
in, his, in the old uh, Orthodox church where he goes to, the Reverend Father preaches, uh, does a homily, you know, for one hour. You don't say a word. He just reads from his papers, does everything he wants to do, and, you know, May the Lord bless you now as you go today. <laughs> and everybody says, Amen. Now you have been in the Catholic Church. Yeah, I was born now a Catholic. I now I know. Now I catch you. No, we I are born Catholics. Yeah. Amen. We, we are all once Catholic. Yes. yes. But you see, in the Pentecost, you say he now, well, he now really, really got born again. He went to a Pentecostal church for the first time, a friend invited him. And the pastor said, the power of the Lord is here. Everybody was shouting, yeah, pastor, preach it. He said he didn't know who was preaching. <laughs> Whether it was the preacher or the congregation. And he was like, what is going on here? <laughs> okay, now, his friends were shouting, and the pastor was shouting, everybody was shouting. And he said, well, welcome to the Pentecostal church. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And he was so excited about it. And since then, he said his life has never been the same again. <laughs> he knew that he could be in church and participate and not just watch. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He knew for the first time, you, pastor is talking, you can talk back at pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So talk back at me. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now the scripture said, Listen to this very carefully, very important. The scripture said that 